pulling out. I ain't love niggas from the south. Cause I had a bitch that breaks a lot. I ain't going back and forth with niggas. I'ma go and get a bigger mind. It was easy to the dinner line. I'm a real one, had to figure out. Nigga, got a nigga, how you got a nigga? I'ma show them niggas what I'm buying. Don't get a rich like a ride, nigga. Every season, I'm about to die. Nigga, 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 I'm about to die. Some momentum shit. Yeah. I feel like the momentum there drop. But the next shit, I'm push it for a little minute though. I don't need my headphones. I do like I did the rest of my projects, just drop a minute. I'm gonna try to do this one like a little five month, little push. Okay. Yeah, what's up? Well, shit, man. How you been, dog? Oh, yeah, we back. We live right now. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, we on. We on. Yeah, right. Let me get comfortable with shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? B, how you been though, man? I'm good, bro. I can't complain, bro. Same that's what's old, up, same that's old, what's same up. one too. And um, welcome back to the B Safe Podcast. I am your host, B Cooks. I'm sitting down with my brother, Slime KD. Slack, we're going. You know what I'm saying? How you been, my brother? Everything been good? How the family? Family good, man. Just staying prayed up. Just staying positive. You know, going with the flow. Hell yeah, yeah. That's all we can ask for. That's all we can ask for. Shoot, but um, man, look, I'm glad to have you back in the yo yeah, with me, back. man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we had some technical difficulties last time, but hey, we're going to remedy that. Yeah, pleasure to be You know back. what I'm saying? And um, just like last time, man, I always want to take opportunity to just get to know, you know what I'm saying? Get to know Kyle, you know what I'm saying? For sure. You know what I mean? So, you know, just to get started, man, I know you from Augusta, and um, you originally went to what high school again? Uh, I went to... I went to Hells before a year, and then I went to Josie. Okay, okay. So if you were to claim a high school in Augusta, which one would it be? Josie, for sure. <laughs> Josie, for sure. And I ain't even just saying that because they got such a, uh, such a, how can I say it? Strong, <coughs> strong. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know what you, know you mean. Like, they got like a, a, a well, good name in the city. I'm not saying it because of that. I just really, I learned a lot there. I became who I am from there. That's what okay, I say. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, for sure. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, you know, uh, we're growing up in Augusta. I know you, you hoop. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so what, going from Helpsville to Josie, was it because of basketball? Yeah. 100%. Okay. Yeah, Helpsville back then, I think it was trash around your time. Yeah, we was trash. I went crazy, though. My freshman year, I went crazy on them folks. So I knew from then, like, Man, I got to get from out here. I got to go with some folk. I don't really see this shit at. Yeah, yeah. Because definitely Josie will pack the gym out. Come on, man. You win or lose, they will pack the motherfucking gym, boy. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to Josie, man. Oh, yeah. 15th Street. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to uh to Josie. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I know you ended up going to Buford, right? Yeah, I did. So how the hell you end up? From Hells with Josie, and then ended up on the north side at fucking Buford. Uh, when I was hooping at Josie, I was playing with this uh, AAU team called the Georgia Stars. Mm, I'm familiar. Yeah, so I had a partner on there. We were tight, AJ Davis. And uh, we got so tight, we was just talking about winning like a state championship for our senior year and shit like that. So mm -hmm. His daddy played in the NBA and shit, so he pushed up after one of the tournaments and just was like, if you really trying to win the state, you might as well come. Come up here, move in with me, and go to school. 
and shit. I thought it was a joke, playing around, playing around. And that shit happened for real. Just went from oh, there. Oh, y'all got one out there? We did it. We went to the Final Four. <sighs> and beautiful, look, look, man, look. You know, I went to Central Gwinnett for high school. Or, yeah. Well, I graduated from Central Gwinnett. And uh, Buford be having that stick on that football field. And yeah, for a yeah. second, I think the girls was 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 uh, yeah, girls good as hell. Good it? as hell. Oh, God. Yeah, they win it all the time. The football win it all the time. We got close, though. Okay. We ain't pull it out. So playing at Buford is uh, what, you, what got you to look at Georgia Southern? No, nah, I wouldn't say that. <coughs> I would say all my college looks came from uh, – AAU traveling, yeah. traveling, summer ball, circuit. Shit like that, yeah. If yeah, I probably yeah. would have stayed at Joe's, I probably would have went higher than Georgia Southern, and just in my opinion. But mm. you know what I'm saying, with the uh, God damn, folks always want to call me when I'm working. Oh, you sleep, baby girl. But um, was it uh, did you experience any like culture shock? Yeah, hey, yeah, Joe's was totally different from Buford, boy. Uh, <laughs> I know. Joe's, we would kick shit. Like, we got Benny's down over there. We would kick shit, having fun. Buford was kind of like straight up and down. You know what I'm saying? Get a class, three minutes. Uniform. Oh, shit. Yeah, uniform. I didn't know they had a uniform there. Yeah, yeah, boy. Shit. Three different color shirt, two different color pants. Real bullshit. Because my partner, one of my best friends, I went to high school with at Central. He ended up transferring to Buford. It was yeah. hooping out there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know it was like that, though. Yeah, hey, I had them folks so lit, though. My class and any class who was there around the time I was there, them folks know, like, oh, yeah. Whatever they doing, I wanted to be a part of that shit. I had that shit lit up. No cap. That what's up. That's what's up. And you did, uh, you did what, one year at Buford? One year. Oh, got in, got out. Got in, got out. Seen all I need to see. I ain't need no no more than a year of that, of that shit there. <laughs> I bet. <coughs> you focus on snow bunnies? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did fuck with a couple white girls. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to it's you. It's hard not to. That's all that was at my school. <coughs> Straight white girls. <coughs> Boy, Black girls was white at Buf. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. You feel me? Straight out the valley. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> That's what's up. So, um, you said the summer circuit really got you uh to look at Southern, right? Yeah, yeah, you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Shout out, to, I played for Southern Select. Shout out to Coach Jeff, Gerald White. Remember Jerry yeah, White? yeah, I went to the camp before. Yeah, so he had a lot to do with me getting looked at by different coaches and shit from the different tournaments and shit we were going to. That was so, that's what's up. So we're going to Georgia Southern. Was that another version of Culture Shock? Because, you know, like, <clears throat> in my experiences at Georgia Southern, bro, there's like a line, you know what I'm saying? As far as like the college experience, you got the, you know, where the black folks party at. Mm -hmm. Then you got the, if you on this side, a white person probably invited you here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, so my shit, my experience was kind of different, bro. Cause it was like, I just had came from, okay, I came from Josie, Augusta, that's where I'm from. So that's, I'm lit on that end, I'm yeah. off the muscle. So I just came from the white environment at Buford where it was more, predominantly white right so when i got to southern it was kind of like i could i could i could go either way i had white friends i had black friends some nights i might be like oh i'm gonna just go kick it on the um in in, in the frat houses at night you know what i'm saying i got some little white buddies i could deal with or i could go with my kind you know what I'm saying? So right well see i didn't look but, at it as a kind i just look at yeah it as but a, you as know as everybody person. don't have that privilege to move like that out there thanks like, and that's real yeah. you know what i'm saying Southern was kind of like some of my homeboys some of my black homeboys they'll be like they won't even they never even walk down the frat house street like they don't even it don't even exist to them right they never even been there before and, and look I'm, I'm like you you know growing up <clears throat> going to all kind of schools you know what i'm saying i went to tubman middle school before it wasn't a school no more i don't even know what the fuck that even is anymore but went to tubman fucking around with the private school you know what i'm saying went to aquinas for a little bit then graduated from central Gwinnett. yeah i went to southern i was like damn boy this shit here more of the same bullshit. but i had a good time out there i ain't gonna flex what was your uh, basketball experience like? Um, where, where, where? At Southern. Oh yeah, it was it was good. I had a good freshman year. I was in the, I was in the run for freshman of the year. I had a good freshman year. It was cool. Shout out to the coaches and the basketball team. I still fuck with my teammates and shit. Oh, what's up? Long lifelong relationship, shit like that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So you getting some PT? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, bro, Look, I'm just hey, talking shit. As a freshman, I probably played like. <clears throat> 23, 24 minutes a game. 
Shit, that's Christmas shit. Yeah. Shit, that's three quarters of the way. Shit, three quarters of the game yeah, for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga was in the, in that fight for sure. Okay. I always been like, if you know me, anybody who know me, like no KD, no basketball and shit. Like that was, that was the one. I bust the guys on basketball way for our rapping. Okay. And then um, speaking of rap, right? Mm -hmm. When at what point in in your basketball career did rap start to um, be you know a hobby? It became a little. I would I would say it became a hobby after I left Georgia Southern. When I got up out of Southern, I did two years down there. After my second year, I got put out of school a little bit of it. <coughs> That's when I started, like, fucking with the music more. I had went to Alabama, kind of got more of a taste for music when I was up that way. So you got some trouble, bro? Yeah, I got Man, it'd be like that, bro. Drug I, test, man. Bro, that's fucking crazy, bro, because yeah. I was in the military for a drug test, bro. Feel me? <laughs> Why the fuck they want a drug test? Like, if you don't catch me with it, so be it, man. I ain't tripping by nobody for the tree. what they do, huh? Oh, that's lame as fuck. Man, look, they need to go ahead and legalize. Stop I'm fucking playing you. around. Ain't shit wrong with weed, ain't it, man? Man, ain't nothing wrong with this shit. My pops think that shit like crack, though. Mm -hmm. Like, weed and crack are like at the same level of drugs for him. Like, this, I be like, bro, you tripping, yo. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, man. But shit, so, you know, got a little trouble, happens. You know what I'm saying? We all been there. Mm -hmm. um, and you said that's when you start rapping more. Cause I guess you had more time. I wouldn't on even your say start rapping more. I wasn't even rapping at all. Oh like shit! Southern. Like I started freestyling and shit on beats and shit when I went to Alabama and shit. That's when I started like you know what I'm saying playing around with beats. I'm yeah. not in no studio, none of that type of shit. Nigga just really just playing around. It was I was with a nigga who was taking it real serious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he would be up late listening to beats and shit late night freestyling and shit. So I just be in there kicking it with him for real. And I kind of learned how to freestyle like that. You know what I'm saying? I've been had an ear for music, though. Okay, okay. Because I know uh, I was talking to Mel about you one day. He was like, yeah, man, he used to come through just chilling to yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's when I got back to Augusta. When I came back to Augusta, it was kind of like, okay, I've been playing around with the music a little bit. Who the hell record? Let me see, yeah. see what this shit sound like if I record some shit. Pulled up on a little, on a little studio at uh, Silo and, uh, with Silo, Mayo, a couple other rappers and shit. Trying a little shit over there, and that shit kind of came out. You know what I'm saying, nigga, we we'll fucking with it a little bit. So yeah, I just took that and kept going with it. Man, ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, now I always say like anybody who started rapping now, mm -hmm. you've been doing it a little minute. Did you always sound like you do now? Hell no, nah. <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> it was kind of like I'm transitioning. Like I really just found my sound probably like. Eight nine months ago or something like man, that. Man, and it's so crazy you say that because I was when I was talking to me, I was like, bro, I really been fucking with slime sh KD shit since like the beginning of twenty twenty. Like everything that done dropped, like yeah. I was sure. like, bro, he he didn't he done found this sound, you know what I'm saying? And you've been dropping a lot of shit this year for real. Yeah, hey, yeah, I ain't trying to hold shit back no more, man. It's time for it. Cause uh, what thankful was it thankful for finessa? Yeah, that dropped in nineteen though. It okay. Dropped Thanksgiving the night. Okay, at the end of the year. Okay, yeah, so it's almost a year old now, then. Yeah. So well, that's what really popped it off. Uh, thankful for this and what popped it off. After that, it's just been like we've been dropping ever since. Oh hell yeah, that was up. And then um, so you know what week it is? You know it's Culture Fest, right? Yes. Sir. You know what I'm saying? Shout out! I'll drop some bombs on there. Shout out to Libra, Fresco. Nitty. Oh, you know what I'm God. saying? So. I seen the lineup, mm -hmm. and uh, I see you performing kind of late. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna flex. Um, I ain't know a name on there till about six thirty. <laughs> 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 hey, you got to goddamn salute to them folks. <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't, I ain't saying that to, to, to uh, throw shade on nobody. Uh, Cause I know she. You know, we hit. Ultimately, it's to expose people. You know what I'm saying? Sure. If you don't know somebody, it's to get to know somebody. It definitely ain't no shade. It was just that, you know, from 6.30 on is where, well, shit. Most of them is the people I know personally. Yeah, and what I will say, like, sometimes you got to go on, you got to pay certain dues and shit. Oh, yeah. Like, like last year, I performed kind of early. But shit, I came the right way. I had the right people with me, right. It looked like you brought shit. the squad with you. Yeah, we came the right way. So now I guess they like, all right. You see, they, they 
He got to go a little later. Should I just pipe the motherfucker up? I mean, but you've been working. You know what I'm saying? I'd say you earned it. Yeah, I would say that too. Man. You know what I'm saying? But I do like the lineup for Culture Fest. So, but what I, I was didn't want... even see the times yet. Oh, for real? Nah, yeah, she time? dropped the uh, Libra dropped the uh, what would you call it? This itinerary. Yeah, or whatever you want to call it. What time my shit is? Uh, oh, so you don't even know what time? Oh shit! Yeah, nah, I just know Libra told me I was gonna go kind of later. Well, you know now. <laughs> we about to find out. Yeah, yeah. Let me see where she dropped this shit on. <coughs> Let me see. Come on now. Uh, yeah, let me see. Now, I can't even find it. I just looked at it with, uh, with him a few minutes ago. It was on a page. It might be in the story or something. I ain't gonna flex. I might have been just privileged to some information that might not be out there. Yeah, I think you were. <laughs> I think you were. I don't even know what time I'm performing yet. <laughs> well, know, so, well, the good thing is, well, I will be, be there though. Yeah, you so gonna be there. Be so, there. you know, we're um, we're performing at Culture Fest. What do you what do you plan on bringing that you didn't bring, or what, how you plan on improving from the last time you was on stage? Um. I'm coming the same way for real. I'm coming with the same energy I came with. Every time I come, I come to play. And and you, I ain't even gonna flip, bro. I, I ain't get to see your last Culture Fest performing, but just being around you, bro. I've seen you with the most energy performing. Yeah, for most sure. of the time it look like you just be chilling. Like I said before, when we first sat down, bro, I ain't heard you say shit. I done been around you a billion times, bro. I ain't never heard you say nothing, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna be on some observing shit. I ain't trying to talk too much, but I could just peep vibes and know who the hell real yeah. niggas and who, who worth my time with fucking with. So that's just how that one be going. Sometimes niggas be talking they self under a, a rock. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They talk so much, you're like, yeah, I ain't fucking with this nigga. Yeah. What he got going on. Be done said some shit. He talking so much, he don't even know. I know everything you talking about. Right. You ain't talking about the right thing at all. You wrong as hell. So sometimes you just got to close your mouth and learn. Oh, for sure, for sure. But ain't nothing wrong with that shit. I respect it. Shit, you ain't supposed to talk around everybody anyway. Exactly. You know, it, it just like how we talking now, bro. How we said last time, we seen each other probably like 10 plus times, Easy, man. easy. In might social not have said, events. Right. It might not have said much at all, but you know, shit. Dude, you got a light or some shit yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> some shit You got like an that. extra back one. Yeah, some shit like that, though. So, it's just like... If the time come for that, it'll come for that. I ain't just trying to be, I ain't friendly with niggas, though. Yeah. Shit. Can't be. Mm. Can't be. Niggas ain't shit. Hell nah. You see what they got going on, man? Niggas man, these niggas acting crazy in 2020. Come on, man. <laughs> what is going on? Niggas dying every day, B. Yeah. Literally. Over dumb shit. Nothing. Yeah. And that's Damn why I stay the fuck out the way, bro. Mm-hmm. So I see you, bro. Uh, cash, which... Yeah. The young designer guard. Yeah, for sure. Clean guy. That's what I call him. Clean guy right there, man. Can't catch a thing on him. I know he be fresh as a fool with it. <laughs> Bro, you got some new shit coming. Okay, look, that's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, I be seeing you. I saw the logo on, on the front of the uh of the thankful for finesse. Yeah, for sure. That whole project right there, like if you go back and really listen to Thankful for Finesse. That motherfucker so vibe that like bro, I, I played it three times before you got here. I'm telling you, bro, that shit was like that shit them, smooth. I like that shit. It was in a good time in life. You know what I'm saying? So niggas just getting back to that now. You know yeah, what I'm saying? that's all. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. And shit, you in your bag now? You know sure. what I'm saying? I got some ghetto angels with me, so I know that they they go right there through every trip. So I just know this everything finna go up, everything finna go how it's supposed to go. So uh. You know how long you performing? <coughs> Shit. I be up there, Jim. We gonna go with it. Gonna go with it. Sometimes it might be long, might be short. Shit, I don't know. We just I go with the feeling. You know what you gonna perform? Yeah, yeah. I know what songs I'm finna perform. I'm gonna perform all shit. I'm gonna perform 
Matter of fact, pull up and see that shit. I'm not even telling nobody what the hell I'm Well, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be in the building to catch it. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For mm -hmm. sure. Now, um, now, you mentioned to me last time, you said you was working on your master's? I was. But I got that shit. I graduated in May. Oh, shit. Yeah. Man, look. You need Hey, man, look. I got to congratulate you on that, my brother. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Despite what everybody may see, whether whether it be, you know what I'm saying, niggas smoking weed, drinking, having fun, whatever, whatever, niggas is making shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, can't nobody take that shit from you. Exactly, bro. I try to preach to all my young brothers and dudes who I be around, bro. That shit just be how you how you handle your situation. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about, like, who got this or you just smart enough to do this. And now, sometimes you just got to know how to play your cards, bro. You yeah. got to know how to deal with people. You got to know how to not deal with people. You know what I'm saying? That's the name of the game. Bro. I mean, this shit. Like worst that. come to worst, bro. If you don't never rap again, <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You could, you you still do something with it. Yeah, but I know this shit finna go. Oh, sh there's no other options. I mean, at least if, if you think about it, like there's no other options. But treat it like out, that. this shit out of here. Though. Nah. Like, like I already see this shit. Like I be had all the niggas who I've been around the past two years and shit rapping and shit. Mm. These niggas signing. You know what I'm saying these getting right. deals and shit like this shit. Hey, and then when you in that circle, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It ain't. It can't. The, the eggs gonna lay. Who, uh, how you pick, you, do you do you make a lot of music over local beats or you, you outsource? Um, I got a, I got a couple people who I'm fucking with, like, uh, Just Like Tajay, I fuck with Just Like Tajay, I fuck with Ayo Snoop, I fuck with, um, Equinox, uh, JB Made It, these are all local, uh, guys. From okay. Here. Um, shout out to all the local producers. Really, I didn't even know it was that fucking many. Yeah, it's a lot of niggas who really straight out there. I ain't gonna count. I got it. I'm really high as fuck, so I know I'm gonna miss a couple names. Hey man, look, we ain't here to. Hey, Joy look, and Jake. I fuck with Joy and Jake. You know what I'm saying? Couple yeah. people. That's what's right. up. And I see you've been shooting a lot of videos lately. With, look, who was that? Uh, GDS Visuals. GDS Visuals is actually that's me. Oh, okay. Cause yeah, I did hear that. I think I heard this in a song. Yo, that's my that's my uh brand. Okay. G GDS stands for Grind Don't Stop. Okay. You know what I'm saying so. And with that shit, <clears throat> it's gonna be kind of like I don't want to just with the music. It's not it's it's not just gonna be with music. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? GDS is kind of is gonna always connect to my past life. Like Grind Don't Stop is gonna be an AAU team. Uh, something to train athletes to get to the to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that okay. Type way for real. You know oh yeah, saying? yeah. So like, it's definitely bigger than music. Yeah, that one bigger than music. Grind don't stop, guy don't sleep. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the way for that one. So, music, we're gonna be on finesse. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be on Frisco. We're gonna we're gonna rock it like that. But okay, yes, yeah, gonna do that one. Cause I got so many partners, bro, who hoop still overseas and. And I got niggas hooping everywhere, so I got it. It's, it's just shit getting in position how it's supposed to be. And shit, shoot, that pro that shit probably helps the music having friends overseas and all of that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You can get some spins international because you know that Euro money. I heard that Euro money good. I'm telling you, man. I look on my artist shit. They got this little Apple artist music shit. You can log in and, and see where most of your shit coming from. Mm -hmm. And I had like ten thousand plays from overseas. Yeah, cause I, I see you getting some good some good traction on the uh, on the videos, man. Yeah, that shit's starting to go up though. It's just you gotta just put money into that shit to get something out that shit. How I look at man, it now. Music bro. is an expensive hobby. Yeah, it is. And it's sometimes that's why niggas don't make it. Niggas would be thinking like they ain't make it cause they weren't hard enough. Nah, you really didn't make it because you didn't really have what you needed to keep putting that shit into that mm -hmm. shit. Like, you just was kind of like, fuck that shit. I ain't putting no more finna put some shit into something else. But really, you could have kept doing what you was doing. And you might have would have got where you needed to be. You know what I'm saying? Now, does it, is it still that way now with the way, you know, social media and all that shit is? Motherfuckers making videos and songs on their phones. Like, I think I seen a motherfucker performing at an award show using just the iPhone. What do you mean by is it still like that? Like, 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 um, like you were saying with um, putting in the work and uh, you like running out of money, right? So I was saying that to say, with with people having so many resources, mm -hmm. is it is it still like uh, 
as much as an investment as people say it is? I feel like it don't even matter what the resources is or what you what you're doing. It got to be some some reality to everything that's going on. So it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, but it does though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna present nobody no bullshit cause like this how I feel. Why would I? I'm living how I'm living. I'm thankful for my blessings that God have given to me. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm able to be. You know what I'm saying? Right. Financially stable or whatever. Why would I go pay a small amount for a video? So then people will see my video and they like, damn, this shit look low quality as hell. But shit, I know KD though. Why the fuck would he got down do that? That don't make no sense. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So you, that's my reasoning for having like okay. a nice ass video. Right, right. Yeah. So those kind of investments, okay. Yeah, but at the same time, just say if I wasn't shooting no videos, you have to really be having going on what you rapping about. Can't, you know what I'm saying? So therefore, even if rap doesn't blow at all, a nigga still will be living good. Cause shit, if you living what you rapping about, then you gonna have some motion going on. True, true. Cause uh, if you ain't got no motion, it's hard to rap. Unless you, unless you out here just capping. Exactly. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Big cap. Mm -mm. Only caps is for the head, man. We ain't doing no capping. That's what I know. That's what I know. Cause baby, every time you come around here, nigga, you you bring some big zaza in here. Hey, big hey, gas. This ain't even for the camera, bro. Like nigga, really smoke like this on the regular. <laughs> I promise to God. <laughs> and I appreciate it, because I feel like I'm the only one that smoke like that sometimes. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You ain't by yourself. I really supposed to live in Cali or somewhere, <laughs> bro. I'm stuck over here right now. Corona. <coughs> you ain't on. I need to get the hell on. But my little girl keep me here. You know what I'm saying? For sure, man. Shout out to the little one. Oh, yes. All of them. She cool as hell. She be trying to get on the mic and shit if she was here. <laughs> I love the kids. So, just to go back a little bit, right? So, sure, talk to me. <coughs> you, went, you went to Alabama. Yep. And um, <coughs> that's when you picked up rap, chilling in the yo. <coughs> uh, no, I got to stop you. I don't, mm. I don't want it to be no cap in it. Mm. Okay, before I went to Alabama, I was at Georgia Southern. I met a nigga named Crucial. That's my, was like. My roommate when I first got there, but he didn't play basketball in that. Mm -hmm. He kind of he I feel had like I heard that name somewhere. Yeah, you probably seen him on my Instagram. He popped big shit. Shout got that down. We will get into that later on, but he had me in the studio way back then when I was at Georgia Southern. I'm talking about in the Big Boy Studio Catch. with Bankroll, Catch. Fresh, Thug, Two Change, Screw That Z, Patchwork, like. I've been in the studio with them folks, just, you know what I'm saying, from being with him. Mm -hmm. He was managing two artists at the time, so I been, had been in the studio and shit. That's why I was really kind of living that tight lifestyle. It was another thing mm -hmm. that made me gravitate towards the music. Makes sense. Wild hooping. <laughs> like, niggas used to be in school with me like, bro, ain't no way in hell your ass on the basketball team, <laughs> They like, how the fuck you doing this shit? How the fuck you doing this shit, bro? I'm coming for practice. Just straight going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right in the mix. Hey, man, shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And um, now, first song. Mm -hmm. Do you remember it? Uh, My first song. I kind of remember it in my head, but I cannot, like, recite it, like, for some reason. But it's, like, on the tip of my tongue, though. It was about weed, though. That's a good way to start. Yeah, it, was about, it was about weed, and it was about me texting niggas like Uncle Sam. That was a bar in there. <laughs> Knocking these niggas' heads yeah. on, boy. <laughs> Knew I had to really. <laughs> weed. No cap. <laughs> niggas tried to hunt on yeah. for the seven. Oh, yeah. Nah, this was kind of bad. My first song was probably in 2000. When I made that song, I'm talking about, it was probably like, Damn, I don't even know what year that shit was. It was about like 17 or some shit, 16. Damn. So I probably hit a nigga seven for like 85, 80. Oh, yeah. 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 Push yeah. up right now, though. Hey, Hidden. Man. 150. Hidden. 150. Hidden. You don't want to play that 150, 150. then going over, going on. Over. Now, I remember when I first <laughs> found out about you was, uh, and I had mentioned it to you, it was in a video. Uh, matter of fact, I think Cash was in the video. Mayo was in the video. Uh, looked like a kickback or a house party, something like that. 
At first, I ain't know what the fuck you was talking about, but then I finally remembered what the hell you talking about, bro. You talking about that gang gang shit, bro, on Riceboro Road, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's when I first met him, mm -hmm. um, around the same time that video was made, because I had mm -hmm. bought some hoodies. Mm -hmm. That shit was lit, like. That shit went up, like, on some no promotion shit. Nigga just dropped that shit and just was on some shit, like, man, fuck that shit. Nigga was making so much hard shit, and he kind of like. Man, that shit was hard. I played that shit. And to me, that shit wasn't even hard. But I was like, man, who is this nigga with this raspy ass voice? Yeah. I was like, man, this shit kind of hard. It was decent at the time, but for for the time of it. I mean, I, I mean, I know you would say that now, cause you know you in a you you've elevated, you know, since then. But yeah, that was the first time I found out about you. I was like, okay, cause I, I who shot that video, Lafont? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Lafont, that shit was hard though. The visual was hard. Mm hmm. <coughs> <laughs> when y'all take this shit? Be high over there too. Shit is fine. Shit. Real one. God damn, I got to tighten up. Mm -hmm. Shit. Don't play with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where were we? Uh, what, what, what the fuck were we just talking about? Man, fucking oh, yeah, we were talking about when we just started rapping and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I've been in so, first song yeah. wasn't trash. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, like, you wouldn't call it your best work because you've come a long way. But you said you was always in the studio mm -hmm. and all that good shit. So, when did you, at what point did you, was you like, shit, I'm going to really... Do his shit. Um, at what point was I like this shit? I'm gonna take this shit serious as fuck. Like, I would say like after I dropped Thankful for finessing, that's when I was like, then we did Culture Fest and I went up with the performance. It was just like, okay, this shit, this shit, this was going on. Then I lost, I lost one of my homies. And mm -hmm. when I lost him, it kind of was like, okay, nah, it really, it's really some, it's really a reason to really going on up, cause I already knew what type of time he was on, what he was trying to do. So that's kind of what motivated me to go on, cut it up a little bit, turn it up a little bit, apply a little more pressure than I was. Was that a uh, you from Louis Vuitton? Uh, uh, Kwan too, but I was referring to Jabrito. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That happened right after. Like thankful for this and dropped in November, boom, and then. Uh, yeah, that was a crazy time. time. Like that, that whole year was wild. Yeah, that shit was crazy. So at that point, you was like, "Shit, I'm gonna hit the ground running with this shit." Yeah, time to go up with this shit. Was a uh, was that Culture Fest performance your first live performance? <clears throat> it was my first live performance, but it was my first performance that was live. If you if you smell me. Like that shit would turn like oh I'm which I, I had to I had to let it process it. yeah and they you know put a bar on me yeah that was, <laughs> it was the first one that was like okay these niggas is fucking with this shit yeah come off stage nigga dapping me up on knowing shit like that like the crowd response was crazy yeah so that was the first one of, of that nature but I had did probably like two more performances okay do you uh you be hopping in a little uh performance circuit in the A not yet. I'm about to, I'm about to dig into that, but I ain't went up there yet. Like, when I pop out up there, man, I'm fuck going. I ain't gonna have to pop out too many times type shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Pop out probably once or twice. After that, it'll be over with. I'll be through. I, I like the way that sound. Yeah, I ain't popping out. I ain't finna be up there every week, every two, every other weekend doing the artists of the, 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 the um, what they be calling them shits. Um, um. Them, them, them artists. What the fuck preview them circuit shit, showcases. Man. Yeah, showcases. Yeah, artists showcase every other weekend. Back to back to back. Nah, I ain't doing that. I'm gonna get that shit together how I need it to be. Pop out one time. Pop out again. Hey man, dang that shit ain't going right. That what's going on? Pop out somewhere else, same way one or two times. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm just having that shit together though. Right. And I see, I see you moving strategic. 
Yeah, for sure. You got to have some strategy to it. <coughs> the mental. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I was hooping, all my coaches and shit used to always tell me, like, all the good coaches I had, they'd be like, this basketball shit is 10% physical. Shit, 90% mental. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was always my, my goddamn motto with, I use that with everything then. It ain't really, it's about your mental more than anything. They got to think shit. Like that strong mind. Yeah. Is a, uh, make a strong body. Yeah, you got hands? Oh, you got one? So, first song, it was good, right? Yeah, it was decent. Decent. Mm -hmm. But you say you can't remember no bars? I told you that when I just said about Uncle Sam. $20 for a fucking ground. Tax some nigga like an Uncle Sam. That was, that was the bar right there. Uh, <laughs> uh, There's no cap. I swear to God, that was just a bar from the song. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I thought you was just talking shit. I ain't even put in. I ain't even process the first time that that was off the song. Yeah, that was off the song for sure. That's what's up. My little brother be making beats and shit, bro. You need to link him up with me. Man, I, I'll send you his contact, bro. I, I'll give you his contact for sure, dude, cause that nigga there, that nigga stay cooking up some shit all the time, yeah. all the time. That nigga don't sleep. That's how I need them beats. So with um, what you uh, what you anticipate for Culture Fest? You think it's gonna be a good turnout? Yeah, I think it's gonna be lit. I think the turnout should be good. She having it at a nice a nice space and she promoting it the right way. The last one was dope. She got a lot of dope ass vendors, a lot of dope ass artists. So she, I feel like it's gonna be a good turnout. She oh yeah, I'm looking right forward people. to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it because uh, because this will be what the fourth one. Fourth one, my yeah. second one. Okay, okay. That's what's up. Yep. That's what's up. Are you gonna do any songs featuring any other local artists? Um, they're gonna have to come see. I really got a surprise. I'm for Jay got to pull up. I got a surprise artist. Ah, see, man, I thought you was gonna give me some exclusive shit. Nah, this shit two days away. They gotta wait two more days. I got a surprise. Put Doing this shit gonna go through the fucking roof. I'm gonna make sure we get this out before Coach Fifth too. I'm gonna make sure we get this shit out like yeah, we gotta give him a listen tomorrow. Listen yeah, tomorrow snippet, you know. Now you wear <laughs> you, uh, you already know what you're wearing. You gonna wear some finesse? Um, I be so goddamn pressure. pressure. My clouds are so crazy, bro. I don't even. Man, be, I already know, bro. I don't be knowing what I want. I see wear. you got the latest collection, Louis Belt and shit. Yeah, I ain't. That little shit. <laughs> <laughs> that little shit, man. This, this old thing. Yeah, that ain't. <laughs> Keep your pants from falling, you know? For a lifetime. Yeah. As long as you don't lose them, motherfucker. Yeah. Man, I bought my first piece of designer not too long ago, bro. What did you got? I caught the belt. What kind? A Louis. Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a good smart choice. Yeah, I was like, man, because here's my thing with designer shit, bro. Because a lot of the shit I don't like. Keep in mind, you're talking to somebody who's very into the fashion. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Because sometimes ugly shit is fly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I dig that. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But some of them, some of them sh designer shoes, bro, they don't be comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That thick ass Italian leather. You know what I'm saying? With that, bro, it's got like. <clears throat> I wear a McQueen or something like that. It's kind of like you got to go for what fits you. This is true. I done this is a true. I with some big ass platform shoes. I be like, damn, should I just step in? But I know damn well I would not be able to put them <laughs> it's on. Like that is not for. You got some of them big ass triple S's on it? Yeah, I got some of them. But that, bro, I know on your side, them things look big, bro. They really, I mean, it's, just, it's all about how, you, it's, it's about how you put them on. That shoe is big, it's, nigga. It's about how, I might just wear them to Coach Fest. Just because <laughs> he said that. I'm wearing Triple S to Coach Fest. <laughs> triple S me. Nah, but uh, with that designer shit, though, I bought a belt because I can keep it for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That That's that's my thing with designer shit. Like, I'll buy some shit. That, I want to buy some shit that I can keep forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'll get like a duffel or something like that. Or, okay. You know what I'm saying? Or, I can dig it. 
you know that kind of thing. Like not even a, I'm not a pouch kind of guy. That ain't yeah. that kind of that ain't my thing. They cool though, but very convenient. Yeah, for sure. Especially That's why uh, I keep my have to. Shit yeah. Shit. Uh, yeah. I mean, shit. Yeah. Do what you do. You know. But uh, but yeah, man. So I bought my first one when I went to Vegas not too long ago. Yeah, Vegas is a great place to shop at. Yeah. I going shopping out and there. I couldn't help it. Yeah, you went. To like Caesar's, it was just Caesar's Palace. Man, I went everywhere, bro. I went in Caesar's. I went in the fucking the mall down the street. The that got all you know the regular stores and all that other shit in there. Yeah. The three story joint. Yeah. I went to the the north shops, the south shops, out there, where, bro. Fashion district, that shit go. Man, crazy. look, it was. I was like, God damn, boy. But yeah, I, I I felt like it was a good investment though. Yeah, for sure. Fe felt like it was a good investment. Sure, for sure. Love wear that me. motherfucker every day too. Yeah. I don't say I wear my. I ain't had it, but, but I ain't had it but three weeks. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I ain't had it long. <laughs> I'm, but I'ma wear that motherfucker yeah. for six forty. God Fuck damn. Man. What color you got, brown? No, nah, I, I got the black joint. Oh, you got the black joint. Yeah. Sure. Because I was going to get that one, but I was like, mm, let me just go with the, the tr traditional canvas joint. Sure. I'm tight. I just might go in there and ask them folk. What the hell just dropped? Need them. Let me get this out the back. Yeah. Anything that y'all got some out the truck that y'all ain't put out here yet? That really what I need. Exclusive shit. I'm gonna be. I'll be trying to put some shit together that another nigga ain't gonna put together. Oh, I be. I be catching you, bro. <clears throat> I be seeing you. I be seeing you. Cause a lot of niggas cannot dress, bro. Yeah. These <coughs> niggas be having some stupid <coughs> man. at all. I be looking at you, <coughs> and we ain't gonna even talk about this fake ass. Shit. Oh, that shit's going crazy right now. <laughs> hey, man. <coughs> you nigga might pull up on you. Everything fake, man. <laughs> Bro, clue with him. That's why it's so weird, bro. Like, bro, that face shit is going buck wild, boy. Hey, man, you better order that shit from they site, bro. I'm talking <laughs> about, and you know, like I fuck with, I've been fucking with the sneakers real hard for years, bro. Like, yeah. As far as like, the shoe game, at one point in time, I was like paying my college tuition off that shit. Yeah. But, you know, like <laughs> even with the shoe, the sneaker game, you know, that fake shit. If I can't going get out of it, control. If I can't get the real one, then shit. Then bro, I'll just order it for you, bro. Any any shoe you want. I'm capping, bro. I'm capping. That what the nigga hit nigga with. <laughs> yeah, that's what that means. That's exactly bro, what I, all I gotta like do is it. order it, bro. I'm, I, it's a couple niggas that I can vouch for with. The yeah, shoes, yeah, 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 yeah. I be I be on them shoe niggas heads. Man, it's a couple of them. Uh, I be on the head, name. boy. I, I be talking big shit to these shoe niggas. Popping up out of the blue, time my day the motherfucking plug. But hey, yeah, it's, it's a couple niggas. <laughs> hey man, that shit that be having me weak. It's like, bro, you, I've never seen you especially, ever. And then, especially if you ain't never fresh coming up, bro. It's like, like if I've been knowing you your whole life, bro, and you ain't never clean. You think I'm in? The, you talking about you got some clothes? I got it, bro. Shoes now. I got it, bro. I got, it. Man, I got them McQueens in the trunk, bro. <laughs> get four hundred, bro. Yeah, all right. Like, yeah. bro, I can't get a pair for four hundred on sale. You nigga be. They done bought their head. Twenty twenty got a lot of people fucked up, and they got a lot of people up up. Man, you ain't lying. Mm -hmm. The come up has been real, but it's a scam, damn it. Man, what, bro? And I don't care what kind of scam you can, but any scam. Yeah, I'm for that. They Any scam, I don't care what the fuck you. You <laughs> for that? They wear this year, boy. I ain't gonna lie, boy. But I'm talking about <laughs> any scam you got. That shit here. <laughs> One thing about it though, me and my partner was just talking about this shit. Here. I hope you did your thing with it. <laughs> <laughs> because, look, it's a lot of niggas who's, who who ran it up and ain't got shit. A lot of this shit owe it. <laughs> Lining up at Louis to get them belt. Twin, they go to backwood, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get this <laughs> shit, bye. Yeah, I just hope they did their thing with it. <coughs> I hope so, boy. I don't see so many niggas with money. They ain't, they ain't never had none. Hey, man, we, <coughs> man, tell me about it. That shit's out of fucking control. Shit, bro, I got everything sold out and shit. Can't even get no white tea from the mall. 
Nigga done went and got everything. They can't get no forces or nothing. But I can't you, but wait till this shit over with. They ain't never seen them in these niggas. niggas these niggas shit. hidden, boy. It's like in the summertime when everybody think they had drugs there on part time. Mm -hmm. Get cold and niggas disappear. Oh yeah, man, I gotta go to work now. Yeah. No, not though, man. I'm I'm glad these niggas doing it, bro. Yeah. Just don't crash trying to keep up with some shit though. That's my only message to niggas. Yeah, I'm trying to live that life. How, yeah, I always know how to maintain your lane. I'm gonna always stay in my lane, knowing where I can go. I ain't gonna swerve. So as long as you can goddamn maintain your lane, then you good. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. That's why I stay in mine, nigga. Mm -hmm. So, um, with the uh, upcoming tape, right? Yeah, four hours in LA. Oh, that's the that's the name. For sure. Oh shit. Okay. Is uh, you got any uh local features on it? Um, let me think on the track list real quick. Nope. Mm. No local features. Any features? Yeah, got some features. What kind of uh, what can we expect from it? Like, what kind of mood you gonna give us? It's kind of, it's going to be like on some, the title kind of speak for itself. Four hours in LA, in my instance, can mean so much. It can mean, damn, I just got on the plane, four hours landed in LA. Right. It can mean, damn, I just did five of these songs off this tape in a four hour session that was in LA. It can mean, damn, I just flipped, made me a goddamn session, session, four hours in LA. You know what I'm saying? It can mean so many different things, so it's gonna be a, a, a mixture of, of vibes. You might have your turnt shit, you gonna have your shit you just want to chill to. You gonna have that shit that make you think about your homies and shit. You know what I'm saying? True, shit you can listen true. to with your lady. So, so what's the significance of LA? Like, did you is it, is that where the that did you go out there and and it was inspired? Um, I'm not gonna say I was inspired, or I kind of say I was inspired. It's the culture in LA for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can, so I can see where like, you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? It's the weed, other shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga just went out there and took advantage of a of an opportunity. That's a, that's the way I can word it. Nigga went out there, took advantage of an opportunity and shit. Everything you do in life, you got to try to get down, go up off of it. That's a cheat code. I'm giving out free game. Sometimes you got to pay for the game, but if a nigga don't know, bro, whatever you go through in life at any time, you got to kind of use that to keep going up, whether it's a loss or a W. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Just find a way to get down win out that shit. Really for sure. Really hey, hey, and then you don't know how to win without taking a loss anyway. Exactly, bro. That's what's up. I was born in L.A. Yeah, that's that's it for me. I'd probably be staying out there real soon. There'll come a time where uh, I'll be spending some time out there. I ain't really been, had a chance to go back yet, like, and just live it up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's going to be soon. It's going to be soon. That shit dope as hell, man. I feel like certain shit's over here you, that you worry about, you don't have to worry about. But they don't give a fuck about none of that shit motherfuckers be worried about down here. Yeah. Nothing. I used to, uh, back in my, back in my hustle days, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I used to have this chick that used to pull us she was from L.A. The only way to describe this chick, bro, is that she was groovy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She like she instead of saying bye, she'd be like, "Chow." Like as long as the sun was up, she wasn't mad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like she didn't have a care in the world. Everything was just happy. And I was like, "Damn, boy, she probably ain't got no stress. She moved like she ain't got no stress in her life. None. You Thanks. know what I'm saying?" Thanks. And you can just be whatever you fucking want to be in LA. Nobody gives a fuck yeah. about nothing. Shit, more about some money. The shit's all, that's one thing they do give a fuck about. As expensive as it is to live out there. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I looked look at a one bedroom out there. I was like, nigga, look, I have to got now. Have to tap in. Have to get some got now. So you can, uh, uh, uh. Ah, hit that button, man. <laughs> 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 I'm about to start listening to Money Man, boy. Tell him. Money Man, one of my. That's him, my top 10. I fuck with Money Man. That nigga be dropping free game all the time. Yeah, man. Real one. Who was, uh, who would you say some of your inspirations? Um. I have to say, nigga, like, Young Thug. 
nigga like Tupac. Not even on Tupac from a, a, a just more of a, not even on a rap shit. Just kind of on some shit like how he was so diverse. Mm -hmm. I think people get away from. I think people get away from that. Yeah, he was gangster hell, but shit, shot it really was on some. Before he even went to Cali, he was on some like Romeo and Juliet play type shit. Like, the diverse, you know how to deal with people. Right, you know, right. That's how you go up. Because a lot of people forget he grew up like going to art school and shit like that. Yeah, so niggas, niggas gotta know how to work both fields. <clears throat> gotta know how to play both ends of the stick, man. You have any like lyrical inspirations? Young Thug, Money Man, uh, Baby, uh, Kodak. I fuck with Kodak, bro. Yeah, uh, who the fuck else I be listening to like a motherfucker? I be listening to Slam Like Shot too lately. He a newer artist, but I I've heard on him. Like Shot, I fuck with him a long way. Who'd you uh? Who'd you grow up listening to? Um, my pops used to listen to shit like UGK and shit like that. Eight Ball, MJG, yeah. Back Down, Ghetto Boys, shit like that. Hey, shit, that, all of them hard, though. Yeah, that shit used to be hard here. That's why I think I got it really. So you got for music now. And I it's, it's funny you music. you say that because your sound, now that, now that you said it, mm -hmm. it kind of reminds me of some of them in a way. Yeah. You know what I'm you saying? It, if you can feel where I'm coming from. Yeah, I can feel it. I can see it. Almost on some, like, zero kind of shit. <laughs> I guess I can see it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think that's, a, I mean, shit, I fuck with it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I can see it. I don't knock nobody's opinion. I can see it too, though. And then, so, all right. Where you see yourself in the next 24 months? Next 24 months, Slime KD. Definitely paid. <laughs> We need those. Yeah. Regardless of what I got going on, they definitely gonna have some money. So. Um, I'm just gonna say living. I ain't gonna really put no, put no, no, you know what I'm saying? No certain set, no certain nothing on something. Or just say something's gonna be what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna say living. Praying to God that I'm still living and healthy and able to, to provide for myself and my family and, and still be able to live this life that I live. Hey, I can appreciate that. What's some um, what's some uh some goals you got? Goals. Um <clears throat> I wanna um I wanna own a lot of different businesses and shit like that. Got a lot of shit. That's why I keep niggas like cash around me and shit. He got fashion going on, I'm a different dab in the fashion. Keep Libra with me. She got so much shit going on. I dip and dab for her. You know what I'm saying? Jill's got so much shit going on. I'm gonna dip and dab, open up little restaurants and barbershops, studios. You know what I'm saying? All kind of shit. Like, music just gonna be not some, just something to do, but something to do. Yeah. Time, yeah. I mean, that, that's a springboard towards so many other opportunities. Yeah. That can create some residual income nigga, with exactly nigga trying to go up with the music to open up the doors for everything. Else. Right, right. Well, rapping becomes an option. Exactly. Not a necessity. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I'm glad you got a long term game. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. That's why I kinda tried to go ahead and knock out that masters in school shit kinda early so I could have some time to, to uh live life how I wanted to live it and try to accomplish my goals and really put more efforts towards that other than trying to do that shit later or jumping into a career now and still trying, you see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I don't want to knock that shit out so I can. I feel like, in my opinion, I may be wrong and I may be young and I don't understand shit, but I be, I be on some shit like, when I got that degree and shit, I get a job and some shit with a degree or some shit when I'm 35 if that's what I want to do. Right. Right now, I got time to lock in on what I feel like can be bigger than a job. You feel what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. That's how I feel. Now, what? Well, now I know you said you could drop the project <laughs> whenever, right? Yeah, that shit ready right now. Okay, that's what I was gonna get at. I was like, is it done? Shit done. Shit ready right now. I just got down. Got to get the momentum right. It's really the yeah, momentum. I mean, the timing momentum. is. Yeah, it's everything. 
Timing is everything. The momentum there, like, but nah, like, they ain't got to go and take this shit somewhere else real quick. They ain't gonna take time. They just got to stay locked in, high been. Keep living right, and that shit'll come together. Man, that's what's up, man. That shit might be next week. That shit might be next month. You never know. Hey, well, shit, that means the people need to be looking out for it. They need to keep their eyes open because ain't no telling. You know, you know, these days dropping some shit ain't nothing but pressing a couple buttons. Telling, but it's gonna be some pressure though. I promise, pressure. Well, I know I'm looking forward to it, bro. I'm looking forward to it. For sure. And um, just before we, you know, we uh wrap up, man, make sure we tell the people where to find you at. Oh yeah, you can find me on Instagram at slime kd twenty three. Find me on Twitter at kyle door twenty three. And them the only really um them the only really socials you can really find me on. You can go get all my music on all platforms. Oh well sure you got the, the YouTube channel, ain't it? Oh yeah, the GDS um trip me. See I gotta I gotta get better with this type shit. Like, hey, look, look, hey. I do I, I do everything myself from the music videos to uploading the music to posting the videos to Anything they got to do with an artist, I do all that shit myself. So I got to get used to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, bro, this is this practice for me too, bro. Mm-hmm. Like all the time, like yeah, but just it's, it's GDS Visions though on YouTube. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's where I'm dropping my all my visuals at. And my matter of fact, I got to make sure I subscribe my damn self. Yeah, go subscribe to that right there for me, brother. Please. Oh yeah, I got you. I got you. You know I got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, <clears throat> of course. I want to thank you again for being here. For sure. You know what appreciate I'm saying? I appreciate no everything you got going on. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we got to celebrate somebody that uh, not only is doing what they want to do, but doing what they have to do as well in order yeah. to take care of themselves for the long term. Do what you, you got to do I'm so saying? you can do what you want to do. And, um, you know, of course, I want to make sure we give everybody their flowers while they're here. Because, yes, of course, they can't feel that shit when we go. You know for what I'm sure. saying? So, um, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all for tuning in. This is the Be Safe Podcast, and y'all just do that. Be safe.